Welcome to the RoboLinux Stealth VM Virus Challenge YouTube video. The target today is Linux Mint running Windows XP in a RoboLinux virtual machine running the revolutionary RoboLinux Stealth VM software. This is real. What you are about to see is five Windows viruses in action inside Linux Mint. My name is John Martinson, and I am the founder of RoboLinux. I have personally been helping people and companies successfully install and run Linux on servers, desktop PCs, and laptops all over the world since 2002. Today I'm going to show you five viruses which will attack Windows XP that is running inside Linux Mint in Oracle's VirtualBox, but their Windows is fully protected by the RoboLinux Stealth VM software that you can download and install right now. I will prove to you that the viruses infect the Windows XP operating system within seconds. I will do this by loading the Windows XP Task Manager and show you the processes that are running so you can see that this is not a hoax or a video fabrication. By simply pausing this video and taking a screenshot of the Windows Task Manager, which will be showing the processes, you can write down the names of the viruses and Google them for yourself. Then I'm going to show you that you need not worry even if you ever get infected by any or many viruses or malware while you are running Windows XP or 7 inside Linux Mint with the RoboLinux Stealth VM software installed. That's because the RoboLinux Stealth VM software adds significant value to Oracle's VirtualBox and you know, it's your support that makes all this happen. You will see me annihilate the virus within seconds without losing any of my Windows applications or data or even Windows updates. The point of the video is to show you undeniable proof that when you run a Windows XP or 7 virtual machine with the RoboLinux Stealth VM software inside Linux Mint, that makes Windows XP and 7 100% immune to the effects of any Windows virus or malware, you just simply don't have to worry about viruses. This means you can keep using Windows XP even though Microsoft has stopped supporting it. It also means you can run Windows 7 virus-free inside Linux Mint and quit wasting your time and money dealing with viruses and malware. So let's get started. First, I'm going to put the RoboLinux VM data sync into stealth mode via this icon right here on my panel in Linux Mint. And there you go. We're now in stealth mode. The sync is off. Now there is absolutely no chance that my shared Windows VM data can get infected by any number of viruses or malware ever. This is because the shared VM data folder is actually in a hidden protected Linux partition that Windows cannot access. My Windows XP Pro virtual machine is also protected, that's the whole operating system, with the updates, with all your software. And the reason that it's protected is because I've already run a one-click VM backup option in Linux Mint after I installed all of my Windows software and updates inside the Windows XP VM. See, I went over here to the menu, went up to Robo Linux, and went down here to 6A, which is back up your Windows virtual machine, and I ran it. it. took about 22 seconds. Next, I'm going to load Windows XP Pro inside Linux Mint. As you can see, I already have it loaded, and that's to save you time. I also have applications look, uh, already installed, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and Thunderbird. I've got my task manager loaded right now. So let's go ahead and load Thunderbird. And I'm going to show you that the inbox has received an email with five known viruses attached to it. Before we do that, Let's just look at this task manager and I'll have you take a screenshot and you can see which processes are running right now. I'm seeing processes of about, well actually it's 20. Sometimes it goes up to 21 or 22, but it's, it's somewhere in that very low 20 range. 
So go ahead and take a picture so you can see right now there are no virus files or programs running in the processes in Windows XP. Now we're going to load Thunderbird. and there's my five known viruses and what I've done to save you time is I've already unattached these to the drive E and that is where you're sharing your data between Linux and Windows so we'll load drive E and this is where you should put all your data so here they are one, two, three, four, and five. And now what I have to do here is I have to unattach all of these so that I can actually click them and execute the viruses and show you that they're running. So I'll do that right now. So here we go. It's going to take a few seconds here. Get all of these babies unattached. There's one of them. Okay. Now we want to move these actual virus files into drive E so we can, cl we can click on them and execute them quickly. So let's get the second one. And let's see, that's going to be, um, let's see, this one. Extract. And did I already do that one? No, I didn't. Okay, this one's facts.pdf.exe. Last one should be the voice message. Extract that one. There it is. It's a voice message exe. Okay, let's make sure we have all five of them. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got all five. Okay, good. A word to the wise, it is best to run your favorite browser such as Firefox or Google Chrome or even Opera in Linux while you are surfing the web, downloading music or doing your online banking. Then you can avoid keyloggers and drive by malware downloads from attacking Windows. Now why do I bring this up? Well because those are sometimes and probably most often very hard to detect when they're running in Windows. So here's what you can do simply run your favorite browser right on top of Windows. It couldn't be easier. There's no reason to run a browser in Windows when you can run a browser on top of Windows. Then a virus can only enter into Windows via a USB stick or an infected file or perhaps while you're running some Windows applications. As I said, keylogger infections are hard to detect, so do your surfing in Linux Mint. The problem with today's morphing viruses in the wild is that no antivirus software can see, has seen them yet, and so they simply cannot protect you, which renders them pretty much useless and a waste of money. What a shame. So before I fire up these nasty viruses, let's load the Windows Task Manager one more time and just verify that Windows XP running inside Linux Mint is healthy before I inject the viruses into the Microsoft Windows XP operating system. So let's run our task manager again. And I'm going to clear the screen so you can get a nice clean screenshot. Here are the processes. So we've got 21. Check the performance. That's generally an indicator. If you've got a lot of performance going or a lot of activity, then you you're, you're, something's going on with your, your machine. Okay. Alright. So you've got your screenshot. 
Now I'm ready to fire up the five viruses. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this task manager, bring up my file manager, which is in drive E. This is where all my data goes. And let's start loading viruses. Now, as you can see in here, I've got some uh, document files here. I've got an Excel, a Word, another Excel, and, um, and I've got a, a, a JPEG file. So the, this, this is my data and your data. Uh, you know, you want to keep it safe, and I want to keep mine safe. And so that's the whole point of the Robo Linux Stealth VM. So let's go ahead and load uh, these viruses. Get them going. Yep, there we go. There's one. Okay, there's two. Get that one going. And let's go down the list here. There's the uh, voicemail, <laughs> the fake voicemail. And let's get this fake fax. Okay. And then a fake payment advice. And they should all be running now. And I'm going to go ahead and just shut down. Oh, there we go. So we've got a security alert. Now, let's pretend like this particular virus is an unknown virus because that's what's going to happen to XP users. And so we're going to say unblock so that we can allow this virus to come through and simulate a virus that Windows doesn't know about because there's no more protection. So we'll go ahead and unblock that and let that virus come straight on through. And now we're just going to look at our task manager. See that big jump over here? That's where the viruses are taking over. Let's see the processes. Now these guys are very, very tricky. They like to hide themselves, but here's one for sure. Com update use updater.exe. So that's one. Now I've got five of them loaded. Just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and load them again because I guess sometimes they don't load. Um, when you single click on them. I'm just going to load them all again and make sure I get them all. See, there's one that didn't load. Oh, now, of course, they, they're not even loading. Okay, so... Yeah, there's another big jump right there. Let's see if we can identify any more of them. Yeah, they're very tricky. They like to hide. But for sure, you have comupdater.exe. Okay, so you have an infection, at least one for sure, even though I've clicked on five of them. Am I scared of these nasty viruses? Nope, I'm calm and peaceful, no worries. Okay, things are looking real bad for Windows XP, so now I'm going to instantly annihilate these viruses and restore Windows XP and remove all the compromised data files using the Robo Linux Stealth VM software inside Linux Mint. Let's shut down the virtual machine right now up to the top left, bottom close, power off the machine, it's gone. That's faster than a shutdown in Windows. Now the best part, let's instantly restore my Windows XP Pro with all of its software and all of its data and every single Windows XP update in just a few seconds. <clears throat> now of course don't turn your, your uh, sync on again until you've done your restore of your Windows operating system. <clears throat> and of course, you want to restore your data. Then you can turn your sync back on. So now I go down to the bottom left menu, up to Robo Linux, and over to 6B, which is restore your Windows virtual machine. So get your stopwatches ready, please. I'm loading mine on a Linux Android phone right now. Ready, set, go. And it says that it's deleting your existing Windows virtual machine and restoring your original VM now. And again, please note your data is safe if you saved it on drive E. Very important. and it's finished and that was about 19 seconds now it's time to restore our shared VM data files by simply clicking on the Robo Linux Restore VM Data option inside Linux Mint here we go menu Robo 
Linux 6C Restore Shared Windows VM Data Folder. This is removing the virus files. Actually, since you have your stealth folder with your data, the virus files never made it in there. Now let's load the fully restored Windows XP inside Linux Mint and see if the virus is in fact gone. Then we will check our shared Windows data folder too. So let's load Windows. Windows XP. Now this could be Windows 7 of course. See? All of my Windows apps and all my Windows updates are still 100% intact. The reason I know that is because I did my updates before I installed Office and before I installed Thunderbird, so I can be sure my updates are there. Nothing has changed, except now we have no viruses affecting Windows XP inside Linux Mint anymore. Let's click on the Robo Linux Drive V in Linux Mint to check our shared data. Now, remember what we had in there before was some virus files, actually five of them, plus we had five zip files which had the viruses inside them. What do you have now? Just the clean data. So, now what I'm going to do is load Excel because I made a spreadsheet about an hour ago. And so I'm going to go in Excel and I'm going to load out of Drive E my data. And I'm going to go ahead and load a spreadsheet. Okay. And there's my data. It's safe. And check my task manager here to see how things are looking. Pretty calm. Processes. Let's go look for that calm updater. Here, I'll go ahead and just shut down uh, Excel. screen. There we go. 22 processes. Now let's go down that list and look, look for COM Updater. It was the only one we could identify. It's not there. This is the exact same list if you compare it to before we actually clicked on all the viruses or before I clicked on all the viruses. Okay. Windows XP is happy and running smoothly. And let's check the performance, the CPU level. Yep, nice and low. Running around 0%. Give it a few seconds here. Yep, staying at 0%. Very happy. So there you are. You have seen the proof with your very own eyes that in fact the Robo Linux Stealth VM software running inside Linux Mint makes Windows XP 100% immune to viruses and malware. This could have been Windows 7 too. It makes no difference which OS you run. RoboLinux makes both Windows XP and 7 totally 100% immune to the effects of all viruses and malware, including today's nasty morphing viruses. I'm going to go back to Linux Mint as we finish up here. Thank you for watching this video and I encourage you to spread the news about the RoboLinux Stealth VM to all your friends and family so they can also live a virus free life. The RoboLinux Stealth VM software runs on all 500 or more current versions of Linux that are available today that you can download for free. We have written Debian install packages and repositories for RPMs so you can update the RoboLinux VM software automatically when there are updates available. Please note the RoboLinux VM software tools for RPM based Linux versions will be available in April 2014 so watch for that announcement if you're not running Linux Mint. Thank you for your time watching this video. May God bless you and have a wonderful day.